we're going to have a really phenomenal guy come up here, and um, he's phenomenal in some areas, some others not so much, but I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, his name is Bedros Killian. He is the top marketer in the world uh, for people that are in the, uh, that are personal trainers and in the, uh, you know, boot camp business, and he is the founder of Fit Body Boot Camps. How many of you have heard of that? Okay, got 318 locations uh, currently right now, and this guy is a freaking ninja when it comes to marketing. Uh, I met him, uh, I don't know, few, uh, two, three years ago. You know the cobra that you see out there? It actually came from Bedros. Uh, if you want to say anything about the, the origin of that, you're welcome to. But Bedros uh, really is going to share with you. Yeah, there's the cobra. Okay, that's the cobra. And, it, it, and who did it used to belong to? I'll have him say. The, the, uh, what's, what's the actress's name? Okay. Dak Shepard. Thank you. Dak Shepard, yeah. And he's married to the, the gal that was uh, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall? Is that, is that the, the, the... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. <laughs> the, the car has roots. But anyway, Bedros is going to come up. Give him, give him a big hand. And... Um, And Bedros uh, knows more about marketing on Facebook than probably anyone that I know. How many of you have made money as a result of stuff that you've learned from Bedros so where he just came and spoke at some platinum meetings? Okay, awesome. Cool. And pay really close attention because it doesn't matter what business you're in. This, that's cute. Uh, this guy's going to teach you how to make some money. Thank you so Thank much. You, and I know you're going to use profanity, so just kind of keep it you know, to whatever sure. level you feel is appropriate to offend people. Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> my mom is watching via webcast, so I can't get to, uh, <clears throat> she's not, I'm kidding, my mom doesn't come to my events or anything, she really doesn't. Hey, um, 25K group, who's in the 25K group? Yeah, raise your hand, raise your hand, okay, that's where I started, in the 25K group, um, and this is not a plug, this is just to say that if you don't belong in a mastermind, it doesn't matter if you're in the carpet cleaning world, real estate world, fitness world, whatever world, if you don't belong to a mastermind, you're missing out. You were leaving money on the table simply because the knowledge base that you have can be infinitely multiplied by your peers who are successful and by people who have been there and done that already, right? So the stuff I'm gonna teach you is things that I spend 15 to $20,000 a month on, on Facebook. Right? That's, that's advertising dollars that I spend on Facebook, fifteen to $20,000 a month. There's been plenty of those fifteen dollars to $20,000 a month that have been wasted on things that, hey, let me just try this out. Let's see if it works. And it didn't. And all of a sudden, you're sitting here. You don't have to test with your $15,000, with your $20,000. I'm going to give you what's working. And I thought that we were going to have majority carpet cleaners, and so I kind of crafted my presentation towards carpet cleaners. But the, who, who's in the real estate world here? Okay. Um, every time you see the word carpet cleaner or carpets, just think houses and real estate, and it'll all make sense uh, to you. I'm trying to talk as much as I can to leave this beautiful picture up there. Um, <laughs> hey, before we talk about money getting, before we talk about getting leads, I just made some notes sitting back there, and I want to share it with you, if I can. And it's a few things that I've learned from Joe Polish, some things I've gotten from Dan Sullivan, a few things that I've stolen from Frank Kern. Um, <laughs> who, who, by the way, can you believe, is opening up his own Fit Body Boot Camp? How cool is that? He's uh, the owner of Fit Body Boot Camp La Jolla, Frank Kern. So I want to teach you guys something called the happiness funnel. And I'm a horrible drawer, but I'm going to do my best here. You know what? Um, how's that? Can anybody there see it? Cool. Now, check this out. I don't know if you know this or not, but before I teach you any of this money-getting stuff and lead-getting stuff, your mindset has to be right, otherwise you're gonna go home and fuck this thing up, I promise you, because I've done that. Like, oh, look at this, I've got a Gary Halbert CD that one of my clients gave me. 
Well, at the time it was a tape. And I literally listened to it. And because I had these limiting beliefs and this horrible relationship with money, I self-sabotaged myself and then blamed, to then justify my current thought process, I blamed Gary Halbert. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. His stuff doesn't work for me. My limiting beliefs were, well, it won't work for me. And so unless you get your mind right, you're going to screw up on things. So I just want to help you dial that in and far be it for me to be the guy to teach that, but I'm going to attempt it. So the happiness funnel. In life, it all boils down to two things. The happy face and the sad face, really. Everything you do is probably to make you happy, right? Someone says, hey, I want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? Well, my husband's going to leave me. Okay, well, gosh, okay, what's, what's, what's another reason? Well, my kids, I want to see them grow up. What else? And you ask why about 90 times, and it boils down to because it, it'll make me happy. Why do you work? Why do you clean carpets? Right? Why do you sell homes? To make money, to feed your kids, roof over the head, ba 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 ba. Ask enough whys because it makes me happy. You wouldn't do it otherwise. So the happiness funnel looks like this it's this funnel. And out of this funnel, the end result could be despair or happiness. Now, here's what happens. There's this thing called thought. And your thoughts lead to decisions. Decisions lead to actions, right? Well, and actions, depending on the action you take, will either make you sad or happy. So what then affects your thoughts? Well, Dan Sullivan says that, you know, there's only two reasons why people fail. The thoughts that occupy your mind and the people you surround yourself with. Who agrees with that? Raise your hand. And keep your hand up for a minute. Keep your hand up and also keep your hand up if there are people in your life who are crabs, who are always pulling you down, keep your hand up if there are crabs in your life. Good. About 90% of you, you all know what to do. You've got to cut those crabs. If you haven't heard my crab story, you can put your hand down, sir. Thank you. No, go back up. The crab story. I was on a, uh, not the other crab story. That was from Vegas. We were on a cruise. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't leave. I see you shaking your head. <laughs> Please don't leave. I'll chase you out. I swear to God, I'll chase you out. We'll both look awkward. Yeah. <laughs> don't leave. I'm hanging on your leg. <laughs> so there I was um, in Ketchikan, Alaska on a cruise, and there was a uh, gentleman with a five-gallon paint bucket. He was fishing for crabs, and he had five or six crabs in there. And we were walking by, my wife and I, and I look inside the the bucket, and I see these, this one ambitious crab reaching for the top, for the rim of the bucket. And he starts pulling himself out. And I'm like, hey, sir, your crab's about to make a getaway here. He goes, no, just watch what happens. And sure enough, all the other crabs from down below reached up by instinct and pulled that crab down. To me, that was the biggest aha moment of my life. I'm like, holy shit, die. Oh my God, my wife's name is Diana. I call her Die. Die, check this out. Like, we all have crabs in our life. We try and escape out of this misery, out of this, like, uh, you know, job, money circle. And people try and pull us right back in. No, go get a job. Don't be an entrepreneur. You might fail. Go get a job like your brother. My mom said that. <laughs> He's a real estate agent. He's doing well. <laughs> no offense to the real estate agents. Point being, we all have crabs in our lives. Certain people you can't cut out of your life, but you can dramatically reduce contact. I've cut out friends from high school, close personal friends. I've dissolved a business that makes $20,000 a month, an online personal training business, the first ever online personal training software, High Tech Trainer. We were the first app on Sprint. Back when there was no iPhone, it was just Sprint, you could download a workout to your Sprint phone, $2.50, and we do 50-50 ref share, high-tech trainer. I dissolved that because my business partner was a crab and I was done dealing with him. Best decision of my life. 
I ended up making an additional $40,000 a month because I hated talking to him every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Hated that. I would literally mope around the house from 5 to 7.30 p.m. I hated that. So my point is, thoughts control your decisions. Your decisions dictate your actions. Your actions, you might say, hey, I bought Joe Polish's product or Dean Jackson's product, and therefore, I'm going to be successful. But if the wrong thought went into your mind, the wrong decisions led you to the wrong actions, even though you're taking action on the stuff you think you've been taught, you're doing things that are leading you to despair. So what do you do? You have to control this thing. Input. So write that down if you're drawing the funnel with me. Input. The people you surround yourself with. If you watch the news, what do they tell you? The economy's bad. Society's bad. People are bad. Housing is bad. Unemployment rates through the roof. Now you go, well, I don't watch it. I just have it on in the background when I'm getting ready for work. Guess what? Your conscious mind is only 10%. That's the mind we think with right now. Your subconscious mind, the stuff you're going to do later on today and tomorrow and the next month, that's 90%. Think of an iceberg, that stuff hanging outside of the water. That's your conscious mind. That's you sitting here right now. Your subconscious mind, hopefully the stuff I'm putting into your head right now, are the actions you're going to take months from now. And that news, that talking head on TV telling you the economy sucks, it's bad, they're bickering, there's murder and crime and all this rape happening in your neighborhood, in your area, your city, your town, that's input. That will control your thoughts when you're writing your direct mail piece. That will dictate your decisions. Your actions will lead to one or the other. I shelter myself. I don't have TV. We just download shit from Netflix. Easy enough. My kids. My son's seven, six years old now. He hasn't seen a, a commercial ever in his life. Ever. My daughter, four. No commercial, ever. McDonald's propaganda doesn't work on them. It doesn't. So... This leads to another thing, which is your relationship with money. And most everybody in here has obviously got that figured out already. If you came from a background where, like me, where money was bad because it wasn't around, it was scarce, then you probably are, money's bad. We don't talk about money in my family. And if that's this loop that's playing in the back of your head and your subconscious, even though you're here trying to take proactive steps, you got to shut that off. Because money, and write this down, money is a vehicle to freedom. That's it. Money's not the root of all evil. Greed, a mindset of scarcity, hate, that's the root of evil. Money is a vehicle to freedom. Money is what allows me and my wife to adopt eight kids through Compassion International. Money is what allows me to purchase that Cobra. What, I work hard enough. Right, it's a vehicle to freedom, that's it, that's it. What you do with it is up to you. I've never wanted to see my kids to see the inside of a daycare, why? Because when we came to America from a foreign country, Armenia, it was either daycares, when my parents could afford it, or a shoestring with the key around my neck, where I would let myself into the apartment and wait for my parents to come home at 7 o'clock at night. I've always wanted my kids to be with mom. Money is the vehicle to that. Simple. I value my privacy. Money is the vehicle to my privacy. On a big acreage, in a cul-de-sac, and cops are always roaming my property, my neighborhood. I love it because I value my privacy. I'm not a big fan of fancy shoes or traveling much. And so that cruise to Alaska was like my last big hurrah. I'll only go on a vacation when my wife wants to go somewhere. I don't care to travel. I like fast cars. I like teaching this shit. And that's really it. So with that, I heard my friend Kevin Nations once say, 
Well, Dan Kennedy first said that money and success are attracted to speed and action. And Kevin Nations connected the dots for me when he said, take imperfect action. Most of us sit around waiting to take perfect action. I'm going to launch this new thing. I'm going to write this direct mail piece. As soon as I become a better copywriter, as soon as I get that website done, I'm going to raise the prices. I'm going to get that other truck or van or whatever, soon as, just when we take imperfect action, put it out there, get it done, and then course correct as you go. The human mind is actually designed to work that way. You put something out there, right? Think about when you're driving. Your body is actually... You'll be driving, and all of a sudden you start veering, and your body corrects itself. You start veering, your body corrects itself. You don't think about that, but every millisecond you're making thousands of decisions based on what's happening. You don't go, oh, let me go left and then correct myself. Oh, let me go right and correct myself. Right? You hit the little da 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 Oh. da 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 Oh. <laughs> or maybe that's how I drive, but... <laughs> and so I'm trying to justify it by telling you the body is designed to work that way. All right, so I've got a clicker here. <laughs> Facebook. Some interesting facts about Facebook, actually. But I'll share the useful ones later. <laughs> this is true. Look at that. Drugs. It's crazy. There's been more likes in the last year, in 2011. Look at that, over a thousand percent increase in likes for drugs. Sad. Every 20 minutes on Facebook, look at what happens. Over a million people share links. One of those could be your links. Every 20 minutes, 1.4 million events are invited to. Almost 2 million friend requests are accepted. Almost 3 million photos are uploaded. Almost 3 million messages are sent. 1.3 million photos are tagged. By the way, that's one of the marketing strategies that you're going to do. And I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Almost 2 million status updates. Now imagine if the people whose carpets you cleaned did a status update and put your link in their status update. I'll tell you why that's important in just a minute. 1.5 million wall posts. And of course, 10 million comments made every 20 minutes. Guys, there's a lot of shit happening on Facebook. Probably more than half of you right now are on Facebook. <laughs> Look at this. The human race spends 7 billion minutes on Facebook per month. That equals a lot of hours, doesn't it? Lots of days. And every month we spend 1.3 million years on Facebook. Equivalent of 18,000 lifetimes. A lot more stats to convince you that Facebook is awesome. <laughs> now, here's what's important to you. The 35 plus demographic is now one of the quickest growing segments on Facebook. In fact, currently it's at 30% and growing. This is why it's important because I'm guessing whether you're in real estate or carpet cleaning, your average clientele is 35 or older, correct? Yeah. 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 And they're probably married. Yeah. Yep. On a home. So this is for you. Now here's what Facebook is. It's a coffee shop where people sit around at one table and a certain topic is being talked about. And at this table, at this coffee shop, another topic is being talked about. And at that table, another topic is being talked about. It's not a mall where just all these people talking and sharing and trying to get each other's attention. Come buy from me, come buy from me. So if you look at Facebook as a place like a coffee shop, if, I, if you invited me to your house and 10 other people from here to your house, would you have the gall to get up on a table like, hey, everybody, now that you're here, you ought to buy carpet cleaning services from me. Absolutely not. We'd never come again, right? If you're having a little cocktail party. That'd be ridiculous. 
But a lot of people go on Facebook and go, hey, buy, buy, buy from me. And they turn people off. They created the biggest disconnect ever. And you get unfriended and unnoticed. Facebook is not Google. It's not a phone book. It is, however, the best referral machine ever. So what's the winning formula? It's simple, really. It's ads to fan pages to an opt-in. Does everybody know what an opt-in is? Raise your hand if you don't know what it is. OK, an opt-in, my dear, is this web page or this form on a website that says, give me your name and email address. And you hit Submit, and you get a report or a free video in exchange. And I'll actually show you one in just a minute. So the old way I used to lose money on Facebook was this. I used to run an ad that looked like this. I don't know if you guys can see it well back there. The headline says, get training clients. It shows people working out on BOSU balls. Want training clients? BOSU balls are OK, but this system really works for personal trainers. And it would send them to this page. It was a fan page. And on the fan page, we put an opt-in. So if you look, what I'm offering there is saying, hey, give me your email address, and I'll give you this free video plus all those other products. So it's an ethical bribe, right? That's all an opt-in is. I'm trying to build my email list. And it worked OK, but I was losing a lot of money because I, wasn't getting, I was getting clicks, but people weren't opting in. And because my ads were lousy, Facebook, because every time Facebook puts an impression of your ad and you start getting impressions but not a lot of clicks, Facebook goes, oh, we're going to start charging you more per click because your ad is not relevant to the people you're showing it to. So the more relevant your ad is to the people that you've chosen to show it to, the more likely it is that you'll pay less. So don't try and go for 50,000 people when you can actually target it to 10,000 very qualified people and pay less per click. And then when those people land on your fan page, they'll opt in. Now, the new way is this. She gets clients. And this works for every industry. We've tested it. My friend Josh Carter, who's one of my oldest coaching clients, who helped me put this presentation together. I've connected him with a lot of people from the internet marketing space, even people that Joe uh, coaches. Is it Bluefish, Joe, the guy? Yeah. Uh, Steve Sims from Bluefish, even. Uh, so it's like a high-end concierge service. Pictures of hot women always work. Guys turn their head, and women always are naturally attracted to pretty women because they want to look like them. So this one worked really well. She gets clients. She learned a little-known secret to land 8 to 10 new, new personal training clients. Discover her simple secret here. And it went to this page. Now you guys can write this down and are welcome to model it. Facebook.com forward slash fitness marketing. Fitness marketing, yeah. And so basically, when people click that ad, they go to my fan page, and they see this. It says, hey, click like. And I'll show you how to double your income and cut your working hours in half. Those are the two big pain points that personal trainers have. Because once you teach a trainer how to get more clients, now it's like, gosh, I'm working early in the morning to late at night. How do I cut my hours in half? Right? So we teach them then how to leverage by hiring employees. And so we fuzz out the thing we're going to give them at the bottom. Hey, it's for friends only, so go ahead and like it. And when they like, then it says, hey, congratulations. Here's the video that I promised you. So now I've got a fan. They're a fan, right? Because fan pages, you can go more than 5,000. Because your friend, your, if you, anyone's wondering, hey, why, why can't I just have a friend profile page? That's limited to 5,000. Then it stops. I've maxed out on that, right? You're going to max out on that, too, if you're trying to grow your business. Fans, you can have millions of fans. And so once they click like, they see this. Hey, here's your free video. I show them the video. And of course, there's a call to action that says, hey, give me your email address. And you get this other bonus. And I also get them as a client or as a, as a lead. Now today, I've got almost 7,000 fans. 
And this has just been in the last maybe six months that we've been doing this system. So if you saw earlier, I had like 2,000 fans. In the last six months, I've had like 4,000. And if you look at the comments on here, so as you start building a fan page, or even your personal page, have your customers follow you. And you would think like, well, hey, they're following me because they're personal trainers who want to grow their business, so I should be talking about sales and marketing all the time. Not true. The things that get the most interaction, because remember, it's a coffee shop, right? We want to connect, we want interaction. So one question I asked was, hey, I've been traveling a lot and I've been into a lot of gyms, and I noticed that a lot more trainers have kind of gone the way of stability balls and core training and you know, stopped doing resistance training. You know, is resistance training being overlooked? It's good to ask a question. And then 18 people commented, no, it's not, yes, it is, whatever. It has nothing to do with sales and marketing, the reason they opted in the first place. The question right below that, which had 71 comments. Hey, trainers should be in shape, they should look the part, they should walk the walk and not just be like I was once in shape. Agree or disagree? Right? That's called stir the pot. It's okay to stir the pot. Right? So you have to find things that you can say to stir the pot. As people interact with you, now they're one step closer to doing business with you. And you go, hey, thanks for the feedback, Susan. I really appreciate that. Gosh, what do you think about this? Stir the pot some more. So what you should do, that's Josh Carter there, by the way. What I would do if I were you, I would do what we're doing with our Fit Body Bootcamp locations, and this is doing amazingly well. We're getting three to five leads per location per day. They're saying, hey, uh, just click, and you get free boot camp. Click like, and they do. And it takes them to a video that says, hey, this is Josh Carter. Thanks, you're just one step away from getting that three free boot camp sessions. Just click the free boot camp button down below. So when they click like, they're already a friend of ours now. Why is that important? Because anytime you post on your, on your Facebook wall, it posts on their wall. And you can send them messages. You can't send private messages in a mass way to your friends but you can to your fans. And so the 6,000, 7,000 people that I have, I can private message them, 100% delivery, right? And I kept on the Facebook platform. Why is that important? They trust Facebook, I trust Facebook. Common ground, right? So now, and you guys should write this down, optinapp.com, there's a link right up top. That little button, it's so cool. They click that, and it goes and it sucks out the email address from their info page and puts it on your list. Whether you have one shopping cart, AWeber, whatever. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. And that's like a legit verified email, right? That's not the fake one that you put in when you want something for free. I've done that. So... Right, then you're screwed, right? There's always a loophole. So, they land on a page, and I don't know if I have that or not, no I don't. They land on a page that says, hey, check this out, print this out, and you're gonna um, take it into Carter Fitness, or Fit, Fit Body Bootcamp for your free three bootcamp sessions. They also used to get this email. Your name, because it sucks out their name and email address. You can have it suck out anything, their address, whatever you want from their info page. And so you pretty much just want their email and name. Hey name, thanks for contacting Carter Fitness, the number one fitness and fat loss personal training facility in West Hills. We received your request for a body diagnostic. We'll get back to you in no time. In the meantime, don't hesitate to call us or email us if you have any questions. Yours in health. Very sterile, very formal, Josh Carter, right? We thought this is what worked. So for fun, we tried this. Hey, great to hear from you. When did you want to come in for your free week of boot camp? How's tomorrow, Josh? Response shot through the roof by 30%. Then we got a 10% bump on that. Want to know how? I texted Josh and I said, add this to the bottom of your short email.
10% bump, right? It looks like you just opted in and I just quickly on my iPhone, hey, when do you want to come in? Boom, looks very personal, knocked it out, and you're not going to not respond to that. For crying out loud, that's not an autoresponder, I just knocked that out. <laughs> so, how should your ad look? <laughs> Little sexual pun. No. Oh, don't. I feel like my mom's sitting in the front row with you two. Yeah. Just don't leave. I will chase you out, lady. <laughs> so, I don't know if you want it. Well, I would use She's Got Clean Carpets. Honestly, I would. I would. That's a headline. It's, it's, it's a nice little, makes people smile, laugh. Brings a little levity. Click to get free carpet cleaning for Mesa residents only. Offer expires October 15th. So on October 16th, you just put up a new ad, right? I guarantee you this would get a ton of clicks. Now. Um, see, it's, it's little things like that, that if you just see them go by, that alone, if you just take that little banner you just showed, that little technique they just showed, every single person here will pay for their attendance, their travel, everything here by like a hundred times if you just exploit it. I mean, do you understand that? I mean, that's some good shit. Thank you. Thank you. So, so just for fun, you know, I made that for you guys, and I think we're, we're in Mesa, right? Is that where we're at? Mesa? Mesa? And so I went to the ad center. You know what I did last time, by the way? So somebody was sitting in the front row, and I was like, hey, tell me your business, and I'm up here on the MacBook, you know, making an ad or whatever. And I made it for his city, and then hit enter, and then it said, waiting to be approved. But I wanted to make the ad, right? And of course, I did it in my account, and it had like, that particular one had an $80 a day budget. So we looked and we talked about it, we pro and conned it, and here's what you should do, here's what you should never do, close my presentation, I was done, gone. Turns out, Facebook approved the ad. I was paying to drive traffic to some carpet cleaner's website. <laughs> yeah, like for, for like two weeks. Yeah, that's how good I am. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, can I do that for you? So I, I put in Mesa, Mesa uh, Arizona. I said, hey, show us the women 35 to 64. Uh, we want them to be married. We want them to be college grads, right? I'm guessing, you know, all that means they have more money. And I think I said, show me, also show me all the women, you know, show this to women in the 10-mile radius who meet that criteria. 29,000 women. 29,000 women would see this ad. Now, would you say that's targeted? Right? And so they would go to your fan page. They would click like. Say, hey, you're just one step away. Just click that opt-in app. By the way, it's $37 for that opt-in app button. 37 bucks. They don't even have to type in their email anymore. They just go click. It sucks out, dumps on your email. It does ask them, hey, do you allow this person to suck out your email? It says, yeah, of course, because I'm on a Facebook platform. But it's such an awesome thing. And then you send it that email, like, hey, sent from my iPhone. When do you want me to come in and clean your carpets and drapes? <laughs> Three people got it. <laughs> the formula adds to a fan page to an opt-in. While that is the formula, there's one time that you can break the formula. Now, why is this the formula? Because Facebook rewards you with lower cost per click if you keep the prospect on Facebook. So if the ad took them to my website, ptpower.com, that click might cost three times the amount. Yeah, why is Facebook doing that? Because their whole goal is to keep everybody on the Facebook platform so that, remember those big stats where I showed you? Like, there's stats where, like people spend an average of 35 minutes a day on Facebook. Well, they figured out that if the marketer is marketing on there, if we can keep people on Facebook longer by sending them to a squeeze page, they'll watch the video that's on Facebook platform. They're going to watch your marketing video, just not on your website, on Facebook. Facebook gets the benefit of time on page. You and I get the lower cost per click. So it's a win-win. You're, you're working with Facebook in a way. But I'll show you when the only time you can send it to a, a page and you should be willing to pay a little more if we have time. So, your first autoresponder, hey, great to hear from you. Why don't you want us to drop by and clean your carpets, house tomorrow, just pick any room and we'll leave it fresh and clean. 
Josh sent for my iPhone. That would totally convert. So my best performing ads. Facebook recently started letting people use all caps periodically in the headline. So trainers love this. This is my best performing one, by the way. Drives people to my fan page. You just go to Google, click on images, type in happy face, or hot chick, or hot, hot wife, right? Cut and paste, or crop, there's your picture. Like this page if you love being a personal trainer. So I'm not saying like this page if you want more personal training clients, da da da, because that sounds too marketing now, right? If you're a personal trainer, I'm saying, hey, like this page if you love being a personal trainer. So you might say, do you love clean carpets? Or love clean carpets, question mark? And I would capitalize the word love and just clean carpets, leave, leave camel cased the way it is. If you love having a clean house and clean carpets, like this page. What housewife wouldn't want to do that? Yes, I like having a clean house and clean carpets. And I think one reason it's doing so well is because of that picture. So here's how it looks on Facebook. Look how that yellow pops out amongst all the blue. The yellow. Yeah, right, the happy face. And so through a lot of testing we've done, my buddy Nick Peel in Australia, he's like the man when it comes to testing ads on Facebook. Uh, he's, well, those of you, if you guys have heard of Mr. FBX, he's done launches with Ryan Dice and many of the top marketers in the world. He, uh, he's always testing this stuff out. And pictures like this that pop, or would they have red borders around them that pop, do best. Now your picture will fade, so when your ad starts, the de starts declining, don't change the copy. New picture, that's it. New picture, the ad starts going through the roof again. You can do that three or four times before you need to change the copy. Just a new picture. Because people's reticular, what is it, reticular activation system or center, it's like, oh, okay, I've already seen that. So if it's a new picture, their head turns to it again, they read the copy, intrigues them, off to the races. So here's another one that works well for me. Personal trainers only. You kind of catch what's happening, I capitalize one word, it really helps pop out, personal trainers only. And this one I actually send off of Facebook. And when you put a link that's off of Facebook, in my case, 100newclients.com, what's really cool is some people will actually see the ad, they'll never click on it, so I don't get charged. Facebook just gives you an extra line of content, 100newclients.com, and in my case, I'm showing this to personal trainers, and that URL is a very benefit-rich headline, isn't it? it? Tells a personal trainer how to get 100 new clients. Sometimes they'll just punch it right into the, key, into the thing without ever clicking on it. So I get free traffic from Facebook. Whoops, here's another one. My fourth best performing ad, ad, personal trainer freedom, free video reveals personal training fitness formula, secrets, more freedom, more clients. So, let's talk about the viral method. Now before I do, I wanna show you the only time you can, well let's talk about the tagging while he's pulling this up. So, if you're a carpet cleaner, you go and clean someone's house, right? Carpets, whatever, just ask them, hey Mrs. Jones, Mind if I take a picture of the job I did? Would you mind if I shared it on Facebook? No, go ahead, take a picture. Sure, go ahead and share it on Facebook. Awesome. So you took a picture, your iPhone works just fine. Upload it and tag her on it. Mrs. Jones, you have a beautiful house. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to clean your carpets or rugs, whatever. If you ever need any other help, services, whatever, feel free to reach out to us. Would I put a link? Would I put a phone number? Probably not. Now it's like, hey, you're trying to pimp yourself out on my wall. But a genuine, hey, Mrs. Jones, you have a beautiful house, you compliment her. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to clean your house. If there's anything I could ever do. So you're saying, hey, I'm the guy that cleans your carpets, thank you, it was beautiful. Here it is, and you're displaying what you did, a testimonial, and you're essentially making her a testimonial. Her 185 friends, by the way, the average person has 185 friends, now gets to see that. They're just one click away from clicking on, hey, who is this guy or gal? Boom, oh, so-and-so carpet cleaning. Works every time. 
Works every time. So take pictures, post them on Mrs. Jones's wall, and just give her a genuine, hey, thanks for, thanks for doing that. So let's talk about the viral method while Austin's pulling this up. We've been doing this with Fit Body Bootcamp locations, and it's been working really well. So you have a, in our case, when we have a personal training client, right, or a bootcamp client, we just say, hey, Christy, what do you think about me training you and up to five of your friends for only $19 for, 21, for a 21-day rapid fat loss program? And so you might have a client whose house you cleaned. Hey, Mrs. Jones, thanks for giving me the opportunity to clean your, where's the clicker? Actually, I wrote one for you guys. Here's what you can do. Hey, Christy, thanks for choosing us to clean your carpets today. I'd like to offer, you four, I'd like to offer four of your friends you know, the opportunity for uh, deep carpet cleaning, stain protection, couch, love seat, or whatever, for only $19. The first four of your friends who text me at this number and mention your name, get this offer. Smiley face. Now, for us in the fitness world, this has been working like crazy. Because Mrs. Jones goes, wow, I'm a client, and you're going to do this favor for four of my friends. And we've tried many different versions. We tried, hey, Mrs. Jones, it was awesome working with you today. You worked really hard in the, in the boot camp. I want to give four of your friends a 21-day rapid fat loss program for only $19. Which four would you recommend? Question mark. The trick is to end it all with a question mark. Right? Now their friends end up contacting them, pick me. It's amazing. You guys can do the same thing. Mrs. Jones, it was great, you know, coming to your house, clean that area rug. I'd like to offer the same service for four of your friends. Who would you like me to gift for rug cleanings to? So, there's how it looks on Facebook. And now, of course, again, they're one click away from you, right? And you want the copy just to be big enough where it all fits there. Because you've seen it, if you write really long copy, you know what happens, right? Yeah, it says see more, and all of a sudden your phone number is at the bottom, your call to action is at the bottom, no one's going to see it. So just go ahead and swipe this. It's the, probably the best thing for you. Okay, and I want to talk to you guys about email marketing. You know what, I think I can tell you what I was going to show you, I can tell you. So check this out. Here's what we would do. Um, if you're going to drive, and I don't even know how, it's probably relevant to the, who's an internet marketer in here? Raise your hand. Okay, so it's relevant to the internet marketers, maybe not so much carpet cleaners or whatever. Uh, here's what we do. We'll drive traffic to a, a page. In my case, it's 100newclients.com forward slash free video or something, right? And the page has a headline and a video and it automatically plays. And then it's the sales copy. As Soon as they get there, and it's my lowest barrier product, right? It's a product for like 69 bucks. They'll go there, the video starts up, and the sales copy's right below it, and the video's just good content. And I say, hey, by the way, if you like the content I shared with you here, you might want to consider learning about System 9, my newest product that's dirt cheap for personal trainers who want to get more clients and more leads. They'll read it, whether they get it or not, doesn't matter. First of all, if they get it, they go through three one-click upsells. If, if you're in the mar internet marketing world, you know what a one-click upsell is. Basically, they pay, buy the product for 69 bucks, and then they get three opportunities by clicking yes, and they can up upsell to the next three things that I offer them with one simple click. Now, if they choose not to make a purchase today, when they go to hit that little X in the corner to leave, a pop over comes up. It goes, hey, wait a minute. How about I give you all this stuff? All the same stuff, all the stuff that you guys saw on the fan page? I'll give you all this stuff for free, just give me your email address. 48% of the time we're capturing their email address, so about half of the time we're capturing their email address. So 15% of the time they're buying at 69 bucks. Those who don't buy, half of them give us their email address because when they go to hit the little red X, a pop-up comes up, and that's popupdominator.com. That's like... 40 bucks, 50 bucks for that thing, right? Now here's what happens, when they opt in, they see a different video with more content, the stuff that I promised them, again with the sales page, the same sales page for 69 bucks. If they buy, great. If they don't buy, tomorrow, they get the same thing offered to them for half price. It's like for 34.50. 
And on day three, they get it offered for $1. The same product for $1. Why would I give it away for a dollar? First of all, it's a digital product, cost me nothing, right? Second of all, whether they come in at $69, $34.50, or a dollar, the take rate on the one-click upsells are the same. So I just want to capture their credit card because the take rate on the one-click upsells are the same at all three price points. So we make our money just over $250 on the back end, on the upsells. I bet if I thought long and hard, I can, we can somehow use this in the, in the car, carpet cleaning world. Um, but that's pretty much what it is. So I drive traffic from Facebook, and I'm willing to pay, I don't know, about a buck 50, buck 60, even $2 per click, because I know my conversion funnel works like really badass here. You know? And if you go to 100newclients.com and just opt in, you'll see this whole process. It all makes sense to you. Okay, so email marketing. Whether you're selling homes, you're in the carpet cleaning world, whatever you are, you capture their email addresses, and now you got to get them to know, like, and trust you. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and only then do you make them irresistible offers. Now, you might have some autoresponders, and you might send them some blog posts, but the key of any solid email is to use this formula. I'll make it easy, because a lot of people go, how do I write great emails that convert? Star story solution. That's it. Star story solution. Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is Bedros. And the other day, I was talking to a client. Her name is Susan. And she was telling me about the fat pockets that she has around her hips, thighs, and butt. <laughs> Who's the star? Mrs. Jones. Right? Susan. And she was telling me, what's the story? Well, the story is she was telling about the fat pockets that she had, and she's tried everything from diets to cleanses to workouts at home, and nothing worked until she joined our Fit Body Boot Camp. And once she joined our Fit Body Boot Camp, she discovered this amazing fitness and fat loss formula, and she's getting tremendous results. Now it's time for the solution. If you want to try us out for a week, get the same results as she is, just click this link right here. That's it. The whole process of an email is to sell the link, not the product. I didn't say come buy Fit Body Bootcamp. Remember, if you have a website, your website is designed, and your video on your website is designed to do the selling, right? Why would you take up email space? There's no way you can write short copy and get it to sell. Unless you specifically, we have something in our industry where I wrote like the 14-day fat flush, 21-day rapid fat loss program. It's a three-sequence email where the third one sells, and it sells like a machine. You might have a sequential email mailing like that. But typically, if you're just trying to drive traffic to a site, just sell the link. Don't sell the product or service. And use that model, star story solution. So a lot of times when I talk like this, they're like, man, I don't know how to write emails, so I got an email list, but I only email them out once or twice a month. You should be emailing them three, four, five times a week. And as long as you're using star story solution, it's going to work. You went to someone's house that had wine spilled all over the place? Hey, Mrs. Jones, I went to a house down on Medler Street, and she had red wine spilled all over the place. Now, typically, red wine comes out easy if we can catch it within the first 24 hours, but this had been two weeks, because right after the party, they left for a two-week vacation. When they got back, they thought of me, they called. All right? Star, story, solution. People learn best through storytelling. So just storytell. And... If you want your email to be read, you need a strong subject line. Your subject line is your headline. So I went through um, my AWeber account, and I looked at all my highest open rates, and these were like the top seven or eight. Hey, believe it or not, like ridiculous. Hey, you, even my wife opens it up. I'm sorry, big fat lie. Thanks for your help. Duh, with a smiley face. I need your opinion. People love to give their opinions. Can you believe the nerve? Now you gotta build obviously a story, right? You can't just be like, hey, can you believe the nerve? People open it up. I mean, you never, you know, talk about. So you have to kind of tie it in somehow with the story, which should be easy enough. Just make up a lie. Cool, so we've got about I think that was the end of it. Yes. 
So that's my Facebook fan page. We've got about five minutes. Any questions about Facebook or email marketing that I can help answer? That was easy enough. Yes, ma'am. Oh, go to the mic. They're yelling to go to the mic. Well, I'm just curious, like, how to get started if you're broke on Facebook. So you mentioned that you spend, like, was it 20000 15, 15 to 20000 A month. So you're going to do the viral method that we talked about, right? You're going to post on there, well, hey, Mrs. Jones, thanks for letting us clean your house or whatever. What are five of your friends like to clean their couch or left seat or whatever for 19 bucks. So that's free. The next person's house, you guys go clean, take a picture, ask them, can we post it on Facebook? Can we, sh can we post this and share it on Facebook? You have a beautiful house, Mrs. Jones. They say yes, post it on there. Hey, thanks for letting us clean your carpets. Beautiful house. So use all the free methods we talked about, right? And so just those two free methods right there. Another thing you can do that's absolutely free, and all of you guys should do this, start a Facebook private group a Facebook private group, and you can do this absolutely free. Every time you get a client, don't even ask her for her permission. Just add her right to the group and go, hey, Mrs. Jones, I added you to our Facebook private group. This is all local residents, and I'll be in this group. I'll be sharing some of my uh, carpet cleaning techniques and stuff that you can do on your own. If you spill something somewhere, you don't always have to call me. So you're giving tips to this group. These are all your best customers. They get to know each other. They're always talking you up. You're always adding value to that group, and then periodically you can market to that group. So those three methods right there will make you unbroke. They can start spending dollars. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, sir. Hey, Pedro. Love your presentation. Thank you. Uh, very amazing. A uh, lot of light bulbs are going off, so really appreciate the uh, information. Uh, my question is uh, regarding the combination of Facebook and uh, what I see when I go to Dunkin' Donuts and whatnot, I see that like us on Facebook or text us this message. And what are your, uh, what are your suggestions for like local chain or local restaurants or uh, people, uh, brick and mortar businesses where you can attract people to uh, connect with you on Facebook by giving them some kind of promotion by getting them to like you even before? Even Good if question. First off, don't model what big companies are doing because they have deeper pockets and they've been fooled into doing that kind of garbage by advertising agencies who don't believe in, or better yet, don't use direct response because it's accountable marketing. See, if you use regular traditional advertising, well, you know, just go like us on Facebook, and then they put a big billboard on the freeway, go like us on Facebook. Dunkin' Donuts, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nike, they all have top dollar to spend. They do that, whatever. We use direct response marketing, it's accountable marketing, right? So you're gonna say, hey, go like us on Facebook to get a coupon for a buy one taco, get another taco free, or whatever it is that you're selling, right? Mm -hmm. And also get recipes that you can cook at home. Get our, some, some of our top favorite recipes you can cook at home. Right. And I was like, well, wait a minute, why do I want them to cook at home? They're, gonna, they're, they're not going to come to me. Trust me. People are lazy. We all have beautiful kitchens just because it's a good place to hang out when you're having a cocktail party. No one cooks at home, <laughs> right? You're, they're full of shit. No one cooks at home. But you tell them that, they go over there, periodically you pepper out some coupons, et cetera, get them to like you, you can email them. Remember I said you can do group emails right. to them? Right. You can email everybody on your fan page. Um, and, and you wanna make an offer, like hey, here's this coupon book with like $93 worth of coupons on here. Um, just, just like us, and you get this coupon book that you can print out, it's a PDF, boom, they print it out, they come to your place more often. Now what you tell them is, hey, share this with your friends. Have friends, family, whatever, Share it with your friend. Let us know who your friend was. When they come in, I'll give you a coupon for whatever. So now you can virally grow it, right? right. See, I can't do that in my industry because one trainer is not going to refer another trainer to me, right? right? Like a carpet cleaner wouldn't refer another carpet cleaner to Joe because they're, they're, they're competitors. In your industry, I'd gladly tell a friend about you, right? Hey, man, you, know, you, you ought to go to their webpage or their, their Facebook fan page and like them because you can get coupons for XYZ. Then I'd come to you and say, hey, man, my friend Michael... Uh, went and liked. I can just email you that, right? Oh, yeah, he sure did. Well, here's a coupon for whatever for you. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Her and then you. Yeah. Um, yes, ma'am. So I had a techie question. Do you have somebody that you recommend to do all of the fan page stuff, the like button and the... Yes. Um, my man, Josh Carter. Wow, okay. You guys ready for this? Get ready to write this down. Joshua at carterfitness.com. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Joshua at carterfitness.com. Let him know I recommended you. Um, I don't make a penny off of it. Just he'll 
work faster if you tell them that I recommended you. Because then I'll stop recommending people to them. I won't. I love the guy. Today's his birthday, by the way. If you guys are on Facebook, uh, wish him a happy birthday. Tell him I said so. My man. Um, when you say you can email them directly, is that because you're opting them into the group? Because I've only been able to find on fan pages like an update, not a direct email way to message them. Uh, yeah, well, I that update. Was it send an update? Yeah. That sends them a message to their messages. It's in a special folder. Facebook soon is going to start showing right, them the regular Right, it seems like nobody would know to look for it. Yeah, yeah, soon they're going to switch it over. Nice. Where it's going to be in the regular Facebook messages. Mm -hmm. But right now it's in a special folder kind of hidden there. But yeah, yeah soon but the, it's the group switch. idea is great too because that you can directly email them with. Absolutely, yeah, grow that group. Like I said, don't even ask them for their permission because they can always say, hey, I want to opt out of this group. Just let them know, Mrs. Jones, I join you into this group. You can talk to other local, local people who have beautiful homes like you and care about having a clean house and I'll be periodically updating information on there. Hope you like it. Oh, by the way, I'm never too busy for your referral. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. <laughs>